Hi, this is Sarah from Two Canoes, and in this video I'm going to show you how to customize volume options with Bootrunner. Bootrunner is a startup selection screen manager that allows the user to select what operating system to use. Let's get started. I already have Bootrunner config open on my computer. I launched it from the utilities folder after installing Bootrunner. In this video, I'll be focusing on the volume and virtual machine configuration section. This customizes the look of the volume in the Bootrunner screen and modifies the behavior depending on if it is a virtual machine or a physical OS partition. I'll click Edit to show the options. The Name or Identifier section tells Bootrunner what volume this applies to. The Name or Identifier tells Bootrunner where to locate the volume on the system. I can enter the volume name or device ID of the volume when it is mounted in OS X. The volume name is shown on the mounted volume in your Finder window or displayed on the volume while it is mounted on your desktop. If it is a virtual machine, you cannot enter in a name or identifier since there is no physical volume. For this demonstration, I will enter in the disk identifier number for my bootcamp partition, disk 0S4. In this next section, I can define the volume's label. This is the label that users will see below the volume on the bootrunner selection screen. For example, I'm going to use Windows, which is the operating system of my bootcamp partition. It is common for the bootcamp partition to have a name of Untitled, so adding in a volume label will make bootrunner show the volume name as Windows instead of Untitled. When selecting the operating system, I can choose Auto Detect. Using Auto Detect will not work with unmounted volumes. I can also manually select the correct volume from the list. This section determines which icon will show up next to the disk on the selection screen, and also the icon that appears in the popover description. For this demonstration, I'll manually select Windows 7. At the bottom of this window, there's a section called Popover Text. This feature allows me to describe the volume. The text entered here will appear in a popover above the volume on the main selection screen. For this demonstration, I'll write that this volume is for my programming class. In the path to RTF file, I can enter in a path to an RTF formatted text document containing descriptive information about the volume. This document needs to be in rich text format. You can use text edit on your Mac to create a rich text file. Next, I need to click Done to return to the main Bootrunner config screen. To save my new volume settings, I'll click Apply. I will need to enter in my system user password to authenticate the changes. After logging out, I can view my changes on the Bootrunner selection screen. You can see that I have my Windows volume and a Windows 7 icon is present. When I select that volume, my popover text appears. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our other videos and visit us at twocanoes.com for more information.